so often I do vehicle reviews here at the dealership and I'm truly blessed that you all still watch them so much and so often. Thank you all so much. But today we're going away from the dealership for a special surprise for a unbelievable F-250 covert edition. The truck we're in today is a 2022 Aikens Ford F-250 Platinum Iconic Silver covert edition leveled on 37s for a great repeat customer Brant Bentley. Brant has done a stellar, stunning Iconic Silver. Check that video out. Some footages of that truck. Very similar to this one is all I'm going to say, but next level for sure on this one. He also had the Apex Edition Bronco on 40s. It was the SEMA build. So Brant has got it going on. He's an avid deer hunter. I got to do some deer hunting with him as well. This truck right here, in my opinion, is the best everyday driving setup for a F-250 with a balance of looks and comfort and all the amenities and safety features. Let's go. I actually made a little pit stop at Barberitos. I love Barberitos, a great place to eat. Ever been to Barberitos or Moe's or Willie's or Chipotle? To me, Barberitos is the best. And we're coming right here to the theater. Let me tell you why. The reason I chose to come to the theater, y'all, is because everything we do turns into a movie star. All these beautiful, amazing custom trucks are so amazing to us here at Wildwoods at Aikens Ford in Winder, Georgia. So without further ado, the feature presentation is Brant Bentley's 2022 Aikens Ford F-250 Platinum Covert Edition. Let's review. And today is Thursday, February the 16th. And in just two days, the family and I and Wild Willies, we're invading the GNCC ATV race in Union, South Carolina. Big Buck, it's round number one. So we are going hard at it, Brady and I and the Wild Willies custom ATVs. I got my swag on today, but I had to break out and show you that I'm pumped. And it's not about, let's just go out here and race and see how we do. It's, we've been training, we've been grinding, and we got the swag going on. We got the machines ready to roll too. So it's gonna be very exciting. Stay tuned for more content from that. Back to the review. Another no doubter movie star coming to you soon with this diamond right here. Iconic silver just hits a little different. You know, when you see this color, it just makes everything look more premium and elegant and off-road at the same time across the board, but especially on the Super Duty and F-150 trucks. A statement in our covert edition, full Monty as far as our upgrades. We're gonna start up front. We did that platinum grill. So this upper, middle, and lower bar was that brushed aluminum look. Did a gate black there. This heart, this circular bar here was also that brushed look. Did iconic silver there. Did a two-tone combo on the front emblem. Did a trimmer valence up front because the pesky long balance from the factory just will not cut it. We have a rigid slimline SR 30 inch light bar. This is mounted directly to our bump pad there on the top. It gives it a good low profile look to it, but puts out so much light uh, in a great way. Headlights, had to do headlights. Did not do headlights last time for Brent, but this time he's got the game changer. Black on the inner and lower. Got iconic silver, deleted the amber in that portion there as well as there. So it has a nice flow and balance to it with a two-tone, I'm telling you, a white and black combo or a silver and black combo is hard to beat. And as I mentioned, this truck is probably one of my favorites as far as an everyday driver Super Duty setup because on a 37 and 22, you still have ample sidewall for great ride quality, but you got the look. To me, a bigger wheel, a more mature wheel as I call it, where the spokes and everything is just, the detail is shown more and displayed more on a bigger wheel, you can't lose with it. And we got 37, 12 and a half, 22, Nitto Ridge Grapper tire, that hybrid tire that's so popular with us, so popular across the entire country, but a great one in a 22 inch wheel with a positive offset. Hit me up for more info on that. We know the exact wheel and tire combo to work. And most people, when you think of 37s on a Super Duty, you think of four or a six inch lift, but no, 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 y'all. Two and a half inch, do it a three and a half inch, and you can run it with no problem. What do you think about this blackout of our upper portion there? We wrap this to match. It looks incredible to me Did a third brake light to go along with it in a gate black. We have a Pace Edwards power bed cover out back, money. We took this FX4 badge off. 
Did a custom one right there. I'm getting to the rear. Hey, tight. You know I got to show it to you. But what you know about doing this whole upper portion, you've seen us do it before on the F-150. We've done it on some Explorers. We've done it on several other vehicles. Uh, not enough on the Super Duty segment. So here, a great variation for you. Mirrors. Mirrors, mirrors, mirrors. All the texture was removed. If you didn't remove the texture there, but still did the upper part, the gloss black to match, the gate black, it would not vibe well, it would not flow. And even the nice subtlety in the paint on the side turn signals there is truly epic on the inside. When you're in the vehicle, you're seeing not textured surrounding that mirror, but premium quality components in a gate black. We wrap this upper and lower portion there. So essentially that piece there and on your running board from the factory, that's chrome as well. So did that in the black fashion to match. Now you say real deal, you missed a six, seven power stroke. <laughs> no, we don't miss nothing y'all. We don't miss. We did not do that badge there or the tow hooks up front just for a little slight subtlety or the exhaust out back. We still have the chrome exhaust tip going on too because we have milling in the wheel. In our uh, black and milled wheel, it's nice to accentuate that. Goes along, money set up. What you know about it? Tell me what you think. We got the F-250 Platinum side badge. Y'all, you want to know what it took for us? This was a truck that arrived with no side badges. And we could not find side badges. We ordered side badges. We had to just pull out all the stops to get the side badges. Because I would tell Brent, I was like, Brent. I'm not giving you this truck without the side badges done. I can't even take a picture of it, much less video it, with those ugly, rubbery, black, textured side badges. So Austin came through, made it happen for us. We were able to find these badges in an incredible way. F-250 Platinum done up great in a gate black. F-250 in the Iconic Silver. Remove the texture. There's texture behind that backer portion on the F-250. Looks incredible. As I mentioned, the two and a half ready lift coil spring level kit. We got Fox shocks front and rear. We got a Fox steering stabilizer up front to go along with it. It's all there as far as ride quality and stability and handling. Uh, good look at the Foxes in the back too. Yes, sir. Uh, rear wheel well liners was a great upgrade that we included because without it on a silver truck, especially, it just does not uh, fit the vibe. It looks almost unfinished in the back. So got to do that. And now back here to the rear. Now on his previous truck, we did the tailgate in the exact same fashion, but did not do the tail lights. And I just love Brent. I love all our customers that uh, see the vision and allow us with their money to make this what we know it needs to be and deserves to be. So again, Brent, great guy. We got to go hunting, big dog. Thanks so much. But the tail lights we incorporated and rolled the gate black throughout that portion over the blind spot monitor, even the, the rear. So you say, you know, he got a smoke on his reverse light there now. So we were able to uh, compensate with that with the uh, rigid lights and the bumper painted to match as well. So he has, now has ample reverse lighting since we did make this go down a little bit with that uh, light smoke. We have light smoke, 50 state elite, 50, light smoke, 50 state compliant with 70% light emittance, and we did an iconic silver a border perimeter on those tail lights. Just changing the game with a custom Ford letter uh, on the script out back, and iconic silver and black to match. I want to crank this up in a minute, and I'll show you how much the light shines through there. So here's a look with the lights on out back. You see you got plenty of light emitting through there, but a, a great way to tone down the red and showcase the highlights of the iconic silver and a gate black while still looking very mean and legit with the light shining through the LED running light. Truly epic, y'all. So coming on around, you got the running board down here. So you can see these are about three inches lower, give or take, than the standard board. This is a Amp Research power board that Amp makes for Ford, if you didn't know that, y'all. So it, it is great quality components from the aftermarket side and the Ford side. They're using uh, the best of the best. On the inside, you've seen coming down here, we've got the nice platinum leather with the Marsala stitching and the silver contrast down the center stack there. you got the brushed aluminum, uh, nice components on your center console. And throughout, with I love it that it's not wood grain. The platinum just has a, a different wood vibe to it. It has a little black look. We have the iDrive. This is a throttle lag alleviator. We have it set on ultimate on setting number five. This essentially just alleviates any lag in the throttle. So, you know, you hit that throttle, even in the stock form, produces a little bit of a uh, letdown because it doesn't go. That 1,050 pound-feet of torque does go, but it takes like an extra, you know, half a second to a second. So when we do 
uh, bigger upgrades like uh, bigger wheels and tires or lift, we definitely want to. Even on a stock truck, we like to add a throttle lag alleviator from iDrive because it just uh, alleviates that. Now you put this on Ultimate and number nine, it's gonna be super jumpy and super responsive. You can put it on several different modes as well to give you the best balance and best feel for your driving style and characteristics. Back, we have a custom sub box with two down firing Kenwood 10s with a Kenwood 1000 watt amp to push it. System rocks, Brent allowed us to do audio on this one this go round and we're so appreciative of that. He's got a killer system inside and out. Out back, another good look at the Fox 2.0 aluminum series shocks. We have a four inch block in the rear as well because a two and a half inch kit on the front with no lift modification in the rear will give you that appearance of a front side being a little heavy. So two and a half inch coil spring or a spacer level kit in the front and a four inch block in the rear is the secret to our covered edition leveled on 37s. This truck is so elegant. Look at that light bar on. Look at the big silver bar running through the middle. Look at the headlights all custom and painted. Look at those mirrors done up in black just the right way. Everything above that belt line right there is black. So perfect setup for us. This truck is sexy, y'all. I don't care what you say or where you're from. In here in the South, this is a sexy truck. I know if you're in Texas or you're up North as well or out on the West Coast, you should think that this is a sexy truck too because it truly is very well thought out from us and a great overall perspective of how to take a stock truck and elevate it to a next level. Now there is levels above this obviously, but for a great everyday driver, for a secondary vehicle, whatever it may be, this is a phenomenal way to roll in our covert edition package taken over by storm. I'm telling y'all, you see the theater that we're at and one sweet day you may see some of our videos and vehicles show up on the big screen right there. We have big visions and it's not about just saying we're gonna do something, it's about making a plan and doing whatever it takes to reach our goals. So stay tuned for more from us here at Wild Willys at Aikens Ford in Winder, Georgia. And your boy, Real Deal, you got so much coming from me because, you know, I'm 38 years old. I'm racing four wheelers for the first time in my life. I've ridden four wheelers. We're talking, so I have now a Yamaha YFZ 450. My, me and my son have identical ones we built up and got great graphics on it. I had the desire to do it all my life, but put baseball, put football, put other things in front of it. So I didn't want to be that dad that when my son was on me pretty hard for the past couple of years about wanting to do some for the racing and ride more. It's like, it's your life, son. It is your life and let's do it. And if you're going to do it, I'm going to do it with you because there's a part of me that misses out on that as well. And at 38, I've got the mindset that I'm not getting old. You can either look at it two ways at 38. You can say, oh, I'm, I'm getting too old. I hung up racing four wheelers and riding four wheelers a long time ago. I can't do it, but no, put it in your conscious that you want to do something and then obsess about it and do whatever it takes to make it happen. And it'll become part of your subconscious to where it is a way of life. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to maximize everything that we know and think is possible in this life. And just know that if we put our minds to it, we can do it, y'all. So stay tuned. We're going to go racing this weekend. We're going to bring you all the coverage from that. And we'll be more trucks from Brent Bentley down the road. I know that. But he's going to love this one. I'm going to pick it up this afternoon. And I'm, I'm very grateful and proud for all of our great customers that come to us and trust in us. For your boy, Real Deal Neil, I'll catch you later. Peace out.